Hello there and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to use a virtual camera within Bluestacks because OBS virtual camera doesn't seem to work. So I'll quickly show you what I mean when I go to uh, Bluestacks. That OBS virtual camera just doesn't seem to work. So we're in Bluestacks and we're going to go ahead to settings, devices and we go ahead and click on OBS virtual camera and we see this device is not supported. Now I was a bit awkward with this because I wanted to, you know, use a virtual camera within Bluestacks. It was going to be very useful for some things, but obviously I couldn't because of this and I was a bit stumped. I did try other things, as you can see. These worked. Well, this one worked, but this one didn't. Uh, but this had a horrible watermark over it, so I'm not recommending this. But there is actually a method we can use with no watermark. It is kind of blurry through the Bluestacks, but it does work, so it's better than nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you, so I'm just going to close Bluestacks down here. And what we want to go ahead and do is open up our web browser. And you want to go to the link down in the description, which will take you here. This is actually a Logitech camera software, which is used for Logitech cameras. But in this case, we're not using it for that, we're using it for the virtual camera. So what we're going to go ahead and do is download it for whichever one you're using. I'm using Windows. Go ahead and download it. And then go ahead and launch the program once it's downloaded. Once it downloads, go ahead and agree to use your account control and just follow through the steps. Once the launcher loads, go ahead and follow through the steps. Click on the ones you want to click on and give it a moment to load in. And once your Logitech capture installation is complete, go ahead and click on launch Logitech capture. So you'll then be greeted with a UI, um, which is just loading in here. It will ask you a couple of things about your camera and stuff. Just click on next, 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 next. Actually, look, this is the feature we're going to be uh, using. So we're going to click next. And then for this, just go ahead and click on um, sign in or create. You don't have to do that. Um, and now this is where the fun begins. If you want to change the theme to dark theme, you can go ahead and click on down here and then dark theme. Just because that looks overall nicer, in my opinion. But we're going to go ahead and head back to the top one here, which is source one. We're going to go ahead and click on this and we're going to go ahead and click on either screen capture or window capture. So click on whichever one you need um, to use. So if you want to use window capture, you just click on the window capture you'd like to screen share. And if I have Spotify, you'll see it does do just Spotify, which is very helpful. The UI is quite easy to understand, but say you want to do a whole screen capture, then you can do that also. Now you'll notice this little watermark and you can disable that, just click on this icon here and then click on watermark and it will disappear. So you can also put text overlays on the screen and whatever you really want. There's quite a lot you can do with this program to be honest. Hello. Hello world, I'm going to make it red. You know, you can do all sorts of things. Uh, there's something you can't do, you have to sign up for an account. but yeah it's pretty cool you can have it transparent with a background of some kind if you sign up for an account i bet there'll be a whole lot more features you can do but i just haven't at the moment so now we've got our virtual camera that we want set up as we want it to what we're going to go ahead and do is launch bluestacks again so we're going to open up bluestacks and once we've done that we're going to go ahead and click on the cog icon in the bottom right when you've done that go ahead and click on devices then camera and change it to logi capture now you'll see there's no red text saying we can't do it. Go ahead and click on save changes and then close this window. Now uh, on my beautiful blue stacks, we're going to go ahead and click on system apps and then camera just to test it. And you'll see the virtual camera is working completely fine. And if I change the text, if I change the text to uh, boob, 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 you can see it is working just fine. And it, yeah, it, it, it works just like OBS virtual camera and the UI is quite nice to use. And there's all sorts of things you can do with it to make it work. So I hope this was a useful mini tutorial on how to use a virtual camera. If you want to change it to like an actual camera, you can. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this. And you can even record stuff as well. It's basically Logitech's own version of OBS. But yeah, there's, there's quite a few features to it. And it's very helpful for this kind of thing. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you liked it, possibly like and subscribe. Otherwise, I don't really mind. And have a good day. Bye!